What's up guys? Just finished my morning practice and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little extra here to work on some back and some chest. So I'm gonna do some pull-ups and some uh, push-ups. And what I'm gonna do, one, th one thing I like to do is to work on cardio and work on endurance, I like to do my best to eliminate as much rest time as possible and just go back to back with sets. So I'm gonna go and go between doing pull-ups and doing push-ups. And you're gonna find first set is a lot, decent amount, but it's just gonna drop down to where I might be doing only a couple pull-ups and a couple push-ups. But the idea is to be able to continuously keep going the best you can. So this way you're challenging your muscular endurance and also your cardio. So let's see how many sets I can do. All right. And also it's a little chilly outside too. <laughs> I don't know what, what it is. It's gotta like be like 50 degrees out here. My hand may end up freezing up <laughs> before my body gives out. Cause yeah, seriously, there's all my clothes right there. The jacket and the beanie <laughs> and the gloves. So we'll see. One of the training principles that I practice is to not compare or judge or compete while I'm working out, not against myself or other people. I just do the best I can and that's good enough. We can stay more present that way. And more enjoyable. And remember guys, this is not an instruction video on how to do pull-ups or push-ups. For all the comments of <laughs> form and <laughs> all that stuff. I'm just sharing with you 
what I do on a weekly basis. And also prove that you don't need to have perfect everything. Do the best you can, you know. Take it easy so you don't get injured. And it's much easier to not get injured if you're doing the same movements all the time. My hands are probably the one that's the coldest and doing the most work. They are freezing. Yeah, it's good. I don't know how many sets that was. To 
be honest, I wasn't counting. <sighs> so, one thing I do, I practice on, that I didn't used to before, is when I train, I try to be as calm and as relaxed as possible. That doesn't mean I'm not pushing hard. <sighs> doesn't mean that, uh, that my, that my heart's not going, my lungs aren't going. Everything's pushing, but there's a sense of inner stillness, inner calmness inside. So this way, my body's working hard, but inside I'm calm and as relaxed as possible. The combination of both of those worlds, very, very powerful. Reason why? is because it allows me to utilize my energy more towards doing the work, doing the lift, doing the moves, and set up extra energy because I'm frantic, because I'm doing all of this extra things. Like, for example, doing these things, if somebody wasn't calm and, uh, you know, they're truly, really, really push themselves, you'll see it in their face. You know, they'll just be, ah, ah. They'll breathe irregularly, you know, their breath is not synced in with the movement. Their breath is chaotic, which means that their body is not operating in harmony. Imagine an engine, a car, where everything is firing in sync with each other. When we work out, when we do any type of physical activities, our, our breath needs to be synced in with the movements. This allows our body to be able to be the most, in the most optimum, uh, optimum system to be able to operate at its highest level and perform at the highest. And anybody who's doing anything that's endurance intense, cardio intense, they'll know that because you cannot be able to operate without it. So, that also is a really important thing, and I do my best to try to stay in sync. So these things all allow me to be able to stay as calm as possible while still pushing my body to the limit the best I can. So there you go, just a little short workout after the flow training. If you guys haven't checked it out, go on the channel, look up 60 minute flow training or seven minute flow training. And uh, there might even be a 30 minute one too. I film some live, forget to check out. Start doing that every morning. It's the most complete practice, the complete training system that you would have ever done, period. You know, I've created a lot of exercise programs and workouts and routines, and never have I created one that combines a combination of seven different methods all into one resistance training and cardio breathing meditation yoga or stretching massage and qigong all together in one 60 minute practice 44 moves so check it out when you guys get a chance see you guys later